Hey Chemistry, Mrs. KJ here, and we are going to talk about the assignment, the Fruity Periodic Table. All right, so we've talked a little bit about the periodic table already, and we're going to dive into it even more this unit. But before we do, I really want you to have an appreciation for everything that it can tell us. And so one way to have appreciation for something is to make something yourself. Now, obviously, you can't make a periodic table of elements because, well, there already is one that's the best one that scientists have come up with over many, many years, and you don't know enough about it. So that's okay. Instead, you are going to design a periodic table about something that you like and you know a lot about. It can be anything that is school appropriate. It can be My Little Ponies, it can be your favorite soccer teams, it can be types of trees, it doesn't matter to me. So find something that you think is interesting or something that you like and that's going to be your topic. So I cho chose the topic of fruit. Um, choose 12 items that fall into that topic. So for example, I chose fruit and so I said kiwi, watermelon, raspberry, etc. So you need to have 12 of them. Then you're going to draw or find pictures of your 12 items. Please also label each one. Now obviously if I had a picture of a raspberry, I would assume living in Minnesota, all of you know what that is. But there are some fruit, maybe like a lychee, that you wouldn't know. Well in your topic there might be some things that you think I would know but I don't. Um, so be sure to label all of your drawings or pictures. Now I cannot draw it all. I would totally just Google pictures and do it that way. Some of you are amazing artists, but I don't want you to spend 10 hours on this, okay? So, like, nice little sketches is good enough. And if you haven't ever used snipping tool, I suggest hitting the Windows button or I think it's the Apple button, the one where... Um, when you click, it pulls up this little menu in the corner. If you can't find it on your Mac, email me and I will ask another teacher who uses a Mac. So when that pops up, try searching for snipping tool and it's a great way that you can just take a little snip. So you go new snip and you select whatever area you want and then you can do copy and then you can obviously just paste it on your paper. So that's what you can do for getting pictures or of course you can right click and copy a picture and then paste it. Um, if you are using a Mac, it's open Apple and then another button and then click. Sorry, I'm not a Mac user anymore. All right, so you got your pictures. Next, list five ways you can categorize your topic. For example, I can categorize fruit by color, alphabetically, etc. Now, I didn't list five because sometimes when people give you a list, it's hard to think of other ones. You cannot use mine. That is right, you need to think of five on your own. Okay, so you have five different ways that you can arrange something. Next step, you are going to arrange your items so they are in order according to one category when you look at them from left to right, and in order according to a different category when you look at them from top to bottom. For example, going left to right, my items are in alphabetical order, but going top to bottom is the colors of the rainbow. Your project must have at least three rows and three columns. It can be square or have uneven amounts like my example does. However, you cannot use both of these topics that I did. So you cannot do color, you cannot do alphabetizing. So let's look. They should be alphabetical from left to right. R, S, W. Next row, C comes before O. B, L, P, G, H, K, and then blueberry. Now again, you have to have three rows. In my case, I have one, two, three, four, five rows. And you have to have at least three columns, one, two, three. But notice it doesn't have to be a box. My blueberry didn't fit up here. It didn't fit up there alphabetically or based on colors of the rainbow. So it had to get its own column. And that's okay, as long as you have at least three rows and three columns. So my top row is all my shades of red, orange, yellow, green, blue. You can see I did colors of the rainbow. And now, again, on yours, you're going to have pictures along with the labeled words. So your final project will look like this. Your name, your topic, five ways I can categorize my topic. 
alphabetical color, blah, 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 except you need five that are different than mine. Then tell me how I arranged my items going from left to right. My, I've said cards, because I used to do this in brick and mortar school. So my items are in alphabetical order, but going from top to bottom is the color of the rainbow. And it's my periodic table of fruit. Now, when I did this in brick and mortar school, I made everyone actually draw my paper and cut them out physically, and then they had to tape them all together. If you want, I would suggest doing that. Even if you copy your pictures from Google, it might be easier for you to arrange them physically using your hands by laying them out on your kitchen table. So even if you don't print out your pictures because you don't want to use colored ink, that's fine. Um, you can just write down the names like I did on cards, and then you can move them around. Now, the reason I told you to come up with five topics, sometimes you just can't get it to work with only your first two choices. So maybe if you're working on it, working on it, and you're like, I give up. Okay, try a different category to arrange everything. So it might be really easy. It might take you a few minutes to figure this out. So last minute tips. Yes, you can ask your learning for coach for help. If you get stuck, go ahead and talk to your learning coach about it. You may not ask other classmates for help, okay? Um, you can ask a sibling, so brother, sister, something like that, but you cannot ask another person who is in the class for help on this. Um, because sometimes, some people, I mean, some people are going to have this done in two minutes, and some people, your brain just doesn't think this way, and it's going to take a long time. And I don't want you frustrated. I want this to be kind of fun. So, Go ahead and ask for help as long as it's not from someone who's in this class. All right, I suggest making actual cards, laying them out on your kitchen table. For some people, moving them around on the computer is easy. For some people, having the cards is easier. If you do use cards, feel free just to take a picture of it and submit the photo. Um, extra credit. Five points for having them organized in three, four, or five ways. So you can get 15 bonus points. Wow, that's a lot. Maybe I should narrow that down. That's too many. 12 bonus points. <laughs> you can get a total of 12 bonus points on this assignment. Okay, that's a lot in chemistry. How? How you can is you have to have it arranged in two ways. So I did colors of the rainbow and alphabetical. If you can also figure out a third way that this is organized, a fourth way or a fifth way, you're going to get additional points. Now, the reason for that is when we talk about the periodic table, the elements are actually arranged in about six different categories. Yeah, six different categories on one table. Super impressive. So, if you can impress me, you get extra credit points. All right, that's all I have. If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, I hope you have fun on this activity.